When you want to keep your computing life simple and mobile, a notebook PC is the obvious choice. However, it can be limiting for some home use and workstation applications. Frankly, plugging in and unplugging monitors, multiple monitors, and lots of peripherals is really unrealistic on a daily basis. So today we're going to be doing a demonstration and overview of the MediaSonic Smart Dock Pro to help you solve that situation. For this video, we're going to be focusing on the MediaSonic Smart Dock Pro. Now, there are two versions. We are going to be focusing on the one with a little bit more features because I have a lot of peripherals to plug in, and the Smart Dock regular version just would not have enough USB ports for me. So, really quickly, if you only have a few peripherals or can get by with just a couple USB 3.0 ports, the Smart Dock um, standard version is for you. If you have a lot of peripherals and a lot of things to be plugged in and also want the added bonus of 5.1 channel surround sound, go with the Smart Dock Pro. So inside the box, you're going to get the Smart Dock itself. It's small, kind of lightweight. You also get a quick start guide to help you with your setup. They give you an installation software disk, but this is outdated. You are going to go to the MediaSonic website to download the latest drivers instead of using this disk. And additionally, you get your power cable with adapter. So this end is going to plug into the smart dock. And then this is the USB 3.0 cable that is going to transfer data between your computer and the smart dock. Here are all the ports along the back side of the docking station. It is meant to be oriented upright like this, but for the purposes of demonstrating how to plug everything in, I think this is a little easier. Across the side here, we have the four USB 3.0 ports. Sorry, I have a little trouble saying that, but um, here you're going to want to plug in all of your peripherals, so your keyboard, your mouse, also any external hard drives you might have. I have the full complement of keyboard, mouse, webcam, external hard drive, everything. So all of my ports are going to be used up. Right below that we have your one gigabit ethernet cable, HDMI and DVI ports. Now it's worth mentioning that this little guy has its own video card on the inside. So it has its own graphics processing. So even if your notebook was not intended to run a multiple monitor setup, this is going to compensate for that. Going a little further down, we have a front center sub and also rear speaker ports. Now this is great because this means this includes 5.1 surround sound audio. So if you have a really nice speaker setup, maybe you're using this as part of a home theater PC setup with your notebook, you'll be able to get great sound quality out of it. Above that, you have the little funky USB 3.0 dock that I showed you earlier. This is where the cable that's included is going to plug in as well as your power connector. The bottom has rubber feet because it is intended to be set here and that would give you some grip on your desk, but I found after I plugged everything in that the docking station doesn't actually weigh enough to handle all of the cables I had. So I actually laid it down and it didn't really change the aesthetic appeal of the docking station at all. Over on the front side, there are two USB 3.0 ports as well as a audio jack for headphones and microphone or if you have an integrated headset that has both. Now, important to know, these two USB 3.0 ports are actually live charging stations as well. So even if you don't have your notebook PC plugged in, or if you don't have uh, everything on or your system running, you can turn this on and plug in your rechargeable devices right here. And on the top, kind of inconspicuously, you will find the power button, which you will need to turn on in order to use. The last step in the setup is going to be to position your notebook on your desk, insert the USB 3.0 connector and hit the on button. And here it is with all three displays configured. All right, well that wraps up this overview and demonstration of the MediaSonic Smart Dock and Smart Dock Pro. If you like this video, please like it and subscribe to our various YouTube channels. Until next time, I'm Jennifer and thank you for watching Newegg TV.